Ah, uh, okay. I figured it out. If that don't mean I already don't lie. Make your peace with the galaxy. The Rachni are a dead race. No, stop feeling and think. Is Even our kind so frightened? This time stay dead. We will not embrace the great silence. Silence. Fuck. Monster. Build a terminate. Once for all. Once for all. Okay, the hot labs restored mod. It is kind of bugged with the entrance to the hot labs. And I've read you needed to take the tram station, the tram back. Then don't leave the tram and go back to the hot labs. To the train. And that's how you can enter the hot labs again. So there's a slight bug in the mod. You can't immediately access the elevator. I, in the last part, since I now played this game myself originally, only watched Let's Plays and I played it blind, <laughs> drove the car all the way back. But you can't summon the elevator, and apparently, if you pick the tram back and forth, then you can summon the elevator. And I went all the way back to the Normandy just to read on my mission logs. Now I'm not done. So we're taking the drive back to the other facility and then back again to the hot labs. Just disgusting, disgusting waste of time. I heard the march should be good. Now arriving at Peak 15 Central Station. Hopefully. Oh yeah, you're not allowed to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot Departing labs. Central Station. Destination, Binary Helix Hot Labs. Oh, it works now. It was. Ah, will be. <laughs> Weird and glitchy. Yara. So now I'm entering the mod officially, I believe. Quarantine breach. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Neutron purge recommended. Oh yeah. I've heard of that. Can't zoom in. Yara is still not here. But um the little dude talked about that happening. User alert. The tram lines are locked down. Quarantine measures must be activated before evacuation may proceed. Right, got Acknowledged. it. Acknowledged. Yeah, respect. That looks kind of flowerful. I don't know. User alert. The tram lines are locked down. Quarantine measures must be activated. Right, before got it. We'll take care Acknowledged. of it. The hell? Please don't glitch again. User alert. The tram lines are locked down. What should Quarantine I do? Measures what measures are available? The neutron purge system is functional and may be activated from the operations deck. Can I place progress further now? Don't talk to me again. Oh my god, yeah, it's it's not working that well. That gods, that gods. It's sealed. I don't think we can break in. Mira could probably help us. Really? What the hell is going on? Oh, I don't think I like the experience already. User alert. The tram lines are locked down. Quarantine what measures, measures are available? The neutron purge system is functional and may be activated from the operations deck. She said we can't leave. I can't even go into the door now. Operation stack. Um, already working like a jam, the mod. It's denied. Security lock active. Final 
Cavalry, some action. The hell. Finally, some action, she says. Oh, kill it. The hell was. Oh no. It's not quite working that well. Save. I should save it all. Okay, oh, this part is red. Extremely red. The humans. Let's save. Let's save, actually. New save, of course. In case sketches happen, then I need to delete the mod. This is weird. Singularity in there. Oh, stupid box. All the time. Still killing Target box. Down. Oh, down. Like in hell, Davos. Still alive. There you go. Door is red. I don't know why it's opening. Okay, this looks that spacey. No fault. Her, here, our current experiments have gone crazy, insane almost. One actually just struck me on the leg on my way here. I'm heading to the infirmary to get it locked at look that but if i'm not back after your lunch break please move the rest of the eggs to the operation stack so we can stop the testing on this eggs until more research is done don't get out okay second reads damn you now i'm ready we weren't ready before Clear. Frozen. Needle. To be always ready. Okay, Mira. That looks like a big wormhole. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, you Commander. You stupid. Are there AI. any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. I could have sworn I killed her in the last part. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. I need information on the neutron purge. The neutron purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry. While functional, the system is not armed. How do I arm it? The purge controls are on the operations deck. A clearance key from one of the senior scientists is required to arm the system. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Loving. 
If Mirror Online does a really lot when I say that the door to the map base is now unlocked. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, look at that. They don't look friendly. Oh, I just went in. The sooner we are off this frozen world, the better. Uh, yeah, I'm working quite that well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, let's go. Or something else in there. This actually works and the mission will be completed and it's not just the experience and you need to reload anyways and delete the mod okay not in here okay Good finesse here, by the way. I'm wondering, she should be dead. We got every one of them, that's good news. This one is still alive. Scopa, Sokatano, and the job. The swan the arrow was right here. Oh. Probably is. Which doors do you open and which do not? Oh. Yes? Hello. Do you work here? What happened? I just did what I was told. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just waiting for the bomb to go off. What bomb are you talking about? There's one built in, in case things go wrong. He must be talking about the Neutron Purge. It doesn't matter anymore. You experimented on the Rachni. You meant to use them as weapons. She watched us more closely than we watched her. You mean the Rachni Queen? <laughs> They'll kill you for knowing that. They can try. Do you have the arming key for the Neutron Purge? It won't make any difference in the end. <laughs> okay. My crew and I came to get this station under control. You'll be safe with us. If we make it to operations, I have the arming key for the bomb. Oh, well, is he actually gonna follow us? Oh, I can go through here. No. This would not be possible without Paragon points. Judgment and Cobra. I mean, where do we go? Where are we even? Jesus Christ, what the hell is this map? Just need to go back all the way. Oh, I still want to see if I can go through here. No. Okay. Follows us. Oh. What the hell just happened? Are you certain this is alright, Shepard? Him? Yeah, he has a little off. I'm concerned. His appearance may have unhinged him. I but told the... you so. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> What's going on? Oh dear. Uh, update an arm key. 
The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. Yeah. I mean, this was cool visually. Oh, that's new. This we also got an elevator code. Epa pass code. He got whatever. The hell? Oh, there's someone else here. Yeah. I mean, that's safe again. Hello. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. <laughs> Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. So... We can go around looting or what? I'm just quick saving, I guess. I don't even know how much this is officially part of the game. Or if it's all just no, it's it gotta be the voice lines here. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct Ah, oh, damn it. Them. They won't do a thing. Nope. I hate that you can go into cover then. Ah, oh, sure. Yeah, right here. Warning Neutron Purge armed. Employees, please proceed to the tram station in a calm and orderly fashion. else here so I don't need to talk to Nora I, mean, I can talk to her at the tram station let's just go
bitches. Dancing moves. Mm -hmm. And they're freezing. That's why they're dancing. I do not like this place. Too many dark secrets. I'm not gonna go there. That's not the way. Oh. Okay. I thought I'm gonna have to find my way out. Let's talk to Noira here. Let's see if we're done. I like the detail. Detail. User alert. The tram lines are locked down. Quarantine measures must be activated before evacuation may proceed. Right, got it. We'll take care of it. Acknowledged. Um. God damn it. I actually need to talk more and to more in a specific place. Yeah. That sucks. Makes no sense too. There's an AI that's capable of unlocking that in a different place than normally. Enemies, probably. Oh. Um, just warp. Good. More rock. Line. How can I help you? Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. <laughs> um, six Semper Terran Fun Freak. That is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. <laughs> Activate the neutron. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without code problem. input eight seven five zero two zero zero seven nine. Code Omega local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in one hundred and twenty seconds. Uh, I guess we should run then. I smell trouble. Fire. Oh boy. Oh, you need to send already up that quick. Oh no, I'm almost dead. Dodged it. Okay. They are dead. Did they hit me? They are indeed dead. Let's hope the arrow can get somewhere. No, cannot. We cannot. Okay, Tali, you and me, baby, we. Switch weapons. Broken Fire in the hole. Shepard needs help. Damn it. Sorry, team. Teammates. Now I'm ready. Die. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Not so fast. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? Damn it, Ashley. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. We're done here. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? Found them and wiped them out. Do you take pleasure from committing genocide, Shepard? Seriously? They actually gonna charge me for that? What the hell is wrong with you? It was them or me, Counselor. The choice wasn't hard. The mission must always come first. Just be aware that your actions can have far-reaching consequences. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. There are zero far-reaching consequences for killing the Ragnar. The hell are you all talking about? Zero. Oh, okay. Finally. Mission done. Full success. No music in the background. Let's talk to some teammates. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare-up. Anything I can do? No, Commander. It'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. And the Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. I mean, hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent Biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk huh. another time, Lieutenant. Commander? No. My decision. Shepard's locker. Oh, okay. Gotta check that. Gotta check that, too. Gotta check on the crew. How much time did this mission take? 29 minutes. I guess 5 to 10 minutes of crew talk. I left. Shepard. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. 
Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. I blame Saren, and if I were you, I'd want revenge. Mm. We have enough reason to stop Saren. I do not need to add revenge to the list. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Still unsorted. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. And then she's floating again. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. What? <laughs> no. No. You want a relationship with me? Even though we're both women? We Asari are monogendered, Commander. Male and female do not have any real meaning for us. We do, however, have maternal instincts. So, perhaps, we would fill what you consider a female role. I'm sorry if this is awkward for you, Shepard. I am only trying to be honest. I feel as if we share some type of... connection. But none of this matters if you are already involved in a serious relationship with Lieutenant Elenko. Huh. Interesting. No, I'm not. She's pushing hard for that. My relationships are none of your business. Oof. I apologize, Commander. I did not mean to pry. I thought there was a mutual attraction between us. Obviously, I do not know as much about human relationships as I thought. Oh. I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. Oh, do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you gonna be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Welcome to the friend zone. Let's play Liara. You're the first victim of the female friend zone. Let's play. Hmm, so satisfying. Bring everybody into the friend zone. Caden, huh? No, that's not the right way. We got Garrus, we got Tali, we got Ashley. A lot of people that need to be put in their place. Especially Ashley. 
Talk to her first. Damn, I need to sort through armors. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Commander. They proved that 2,000 years ago. You made the right decision, ma'am. If you haven't oh, talked to Dr. Tassoni, you. you probably should. She just lost her mom. That has to hurt. Just saying, Commander. Hmm. Actually nice. She's actually nice for once. Unbelievable. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? Fraternization is against regulations, ma'am. Don't ask, don't tell. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. God, I missed... Oh. Chief, should you be that casual with your commanding officer? Sorry, <laughs> Commander. Too much in the family mindset. My sisters and I have always been close. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. No, oh, I don't want to hit... I don't know. Next, you'll tell me you all ran across green fields singing show tunes. Don't knock show tunes. I might have to take exception. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Aww. Sounds like your father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. Yep. Actually, it's gonna have to die. <laughs> Poetry. You gonna bore the enemy to death, Marine? Dad will work on Geth, but I'll give it a shot. Just like to remember why we fight. Oh. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Okay. Well, this is this a good piece. Of voice and stuff and Greek, yeah, mythology. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Oh, actually it is. That depends on whether you have a problem with people who don't believe in God. Commander, oh. I'm not some kind of zealot. I believe in God. What everyone else believes is their business. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Ma'am? Way too much. Way too much time, Ashley. Okay. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as? I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. 
some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes, a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus. A Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander... I want to be there when you find him. So long, Rex. Shepard. Interesting story, Tom Rex. Thanks to Garrus. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. Patience. Young Garrus. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, Permanently. I personally absolutely agree, but this is a Paragon run and we gotta build him up into a Garrus Paragon version. If Saren won't <laughs> listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. 
We know more about Saren's plans than anyone, but what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Also, we can torture him. The true Paragon way. Torture. Okay, Tali. You up. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing. And your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. I feel like we could recruit some more people. Like a Samara. A Miranda. A Legion. We would love that dude. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. And we're done. I will have to go shopping. I might do the side quests next. Here are some wrecks. This will take some time, probably. Okay, good. 49, 49. Too old. Got it. Ten seconds. Silence. 